Vladimir Putin is a Russian politician who has been a prominent figure on the global stage for several decades. Putin served as an officer in the Soviet security agency KGB before entering politics. He became Russia's president in 1999 and held the position until 2008. During his presidency, Putin focused on stabilizing Russia's economy and re-establishing its influence in international affairs. Putin returned to the presidency in 2012, following controversial elections, and was re-elected in 2018. His leadership has been marked by a centralization of power, restrictions on political opposition, and allegations of human rights abuses. Putin's foreign policy decisions have also attracted significant attention. He advocated for a strong Russia that could counterbalance Western influence and has been involved in conflicts such as the 2008 war with Georgia, the annexation of Crimea from Ukraine in 2014, and Russia's intervention in the Syrian civil war in 2015. These actions have led to tensions with Western countries and sanctions against Russia. Also, he faced a severe threat from his enemies. So he has well-equipped security. According to Reuters, Vladimir Putin is surrounded by bodyguards as he leaves the Europe-Asia Summit, ASM, in Milan on October 17, 2014. The Russian president's personal security unit is the best staffed and best trained team in the country. But how it operate on various occasions? Don't think too much. Because in today's video, we will tell you about the secret security system of Vladimir Putin. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Vladimir Putin maintains a highly trained and skilled team of bodyguards to provide 24-7 personal security for Vladimir Putin. His security detail is estimated to consist of around 3,000 personnel, including elite units from various Russian security agencies like the Federal Protective Service, FSO, the Presidential Security Service, and the Special Purpose Center of the Interior Ministry, OMON. Inside the Federal Security Service, a particular unit ensures the President's security. Surprisingly, the requirements for this position don't include real war experience. It is unlikely that the President's security guard will have to arrange ambushes on mountain trails or jump with a parachute, a former President's security employee says. The guard must have operational psychology, which means anticipating and preventing threats. Also, the guard must be younger than 35, have a height between 175 and 190 centimeters, and weigh between 75 to 90 kilograms. The president's guards must also understand foreign languages and be proficient in politics, just to understand who approaches the president and how these people should be treated. By the way, the bodyguards are allowed to smoke cigarettes. It helps to calm the stress quicker, but not during training or work. The president's bodyguards' work is highly draining, which is why they are discharged after 35. The Kremlin, where Putin conducts official business, is covered with advanced security measures, including a multi-layered access control system, surveillance cameras, and secure communication networks. The presidential motor car, which transports Putin, is known for its armored vehicles, heavily armed guards, and even decoy vehicles to confuse potential threats. Putin's security extends to his residences as well. His Novo Ogaryovo residence is equipped with advanced security systems, including perimeter defenses, motion sensors, and state-of-the-art communication systems to ensure immediate response to any potential threat. Moreover, Vladimir Putin's cybersecurity system is known for its robustness and sophistication. The Russian government has invested heavily in developing advanced cyber capabilities, which include offensive and defensive strategies. On the offensive side, Russian cyber operations have been accused of various high-profile attacks, such as the 2016 U.S. election interference and the NotPetya malware incident. These attacks demonstrate their capability to infiltrate and disrupt foreign systems, showcasing a level of expertise. Defensively, Russia has taken steps to secure its critical infrastructure and government networks. The country passed a law in 2019 known as the Sovereign Internet Law, which allows for the creation of a domestic internet infrastructure that can be controlled by the government in case of external threats. This move reflects their emphasis on cyber sovereignty. 
However, Russia has also faced challenges. Reports suggest that their cyber workforce might face internal friction due to competition between various intelligence agencies and groups. Additionally, accusations of harboring cyber criminals and tolerating their activities have raised concerns about the overall cybersecurity environment in the country. Putin's counterintelligence strategy is the FSB, Federal Security Service, which is Russia's principal domestic security and intelligence agency. The FSB plays a central role in identifying and countering espionage, sabotage, and other threats to Russia's sovereignty. It conducts investigations, monitors potential threats, and coordinates efforts with other agencies. Russia's historical experience with intelligence and counterintelligence, dating back to the Soviet era, has contributed to a sophisticated understanding of espionage tradecraft. This legacy has likely influenced Putin's approach to counterintelligence. The Russian government closely monitors diplomatic missions, non-governmental organizations, and media outlets, suspecting them of potentially engaging in covert activities. Another important thing is Vladimir Putin's public appearances are clearly planned events that reflect both his leadership style and the security concerns surrounding his role as Russia's president. These appearances are designed to project an image of strength, control, and stability while addressing the complex security challenges that come with his high-profile position. During his public appearance, the guards are loosely organized in four circles. The closest circle to the president are his personal bodyguards, menacingly looking guys in suits and dark sunglasses with an earpiece in their ears and a suitcase. The guard must always be in an alert position because the immediate task of the first circle in case of danger is to shield the president with their bodies. The suitcases these guys are carrying are protective shields that can be deployed to protect the president from bullets. The guards are armed with a 9 Mungurza pistol that can shoot up to 40 bullets per minute, penetrating bulletproof vests from a 50-meter distance. Another piece of equipment meant to protect the ward is Kevlar umbrellas carried around by the guards. They are super sturdy and can protect from projectiles. However, it's not the first circle guards that are the most important but the second ones who are dressed formally in a crowd and behaving discreetly are searching for potential attackers. The third circle encircles the perimeter of the crowd, preventing suspicious persons from being in the president's proximity. The fourth circle are snipers situated on the roofs of the surrounding buildings. That's why it's dangerous to run, scream, and make hasty movements near the president. You'll get a red dot on your head in seconds. Putin's public appearances often involve carefully curated settings, such as state functions, international summits, and military displays. These events are designed to bolster his image as a strong and assertive leader on the global stage. However, security concerns are a constant consideration. Given his prominent position and Russia's geopolitical standing, protection against potential threats is of utmost importance. The security measures surrounding Putin's public appearances are well organized, a combination of elite security personnel, advanced surveillance technology, and strict protocols are implemented to ensure his safety. His motorcade, for example, is heavily guarded, and venues are thoroughly inspected and secured in advance. However, despite these efforts, security lapses have occurred. There have been instances of protests and opposition demonstrations during Putin's public appearances which can potentially disrupt the image he aims to project. Additionally, Russia's geopolitical actions and policies have led to strained relations with some countries, resulting in protests and confrontations during international events. Furthermore, Vladimir Putin's travel security system is a comprehensive framework designed to ensure his safety and the security of his surroundings during domestic and international trips, as the President of Russia, his travel arrangements demand a high level of preparation, coordination and execution to mitigate potential risks and threats. The heavy part of the unit travels with the President's cortege in armored vans. These guys are specifically armed with AK-47S, sniper rifles, anti-tank grenade launchers, and portable OSA anti-aircraft missile systems. Domestic travel within Russia involves meticulous planning where security personnel work closely with local law enforcement to secure routes, venues, and accommodations. Roads are often closed or heavily guarded, and advanced teams assess potential risks and secure the locations they visit. The Presidential Security Service, SBP, oversees many of these arrangements, providing a specialized unit dedicated to his protection. 
For international travel, Putin's security measures intensify due to the complexities of traveling abroad. Advanced security teams conduct thorough assessments of destinations, coordinating with host countries' security agencies to establish protocols. Air travel security protocols are especially hard, with secure communication networks and classified information protection measures in place. Putin's travel security system is also influenced by his preference for discreet travel. It's known that he often travels in unmarked convoys and maintains a low-profile presence to avoid unnecessary attention. These efforts, while enhancing security, also align with his image as a strong, decisive leader who prioritizes practicality over extravagance. However, the main asset of the president's security in case of Vladimir Putin is the president himself. Having had the experience of working in Soviet and Russian secret service, Putin is a mostly manageable dignitary. According to several former officers of the president's security, he knows that his security team knows what they're doing and he always complies to their security demands. But also, Putin's travel security system also has critics who highlight potential overreach and the disruption caused to local communities during his visits. The extensive security measures sometimes lead to road closures and inconveniences for the public. Thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. See you in next video.